Okay, in one of my previous videos, I built this game badge by Ben Heck, and it's really cool. I 3D printed the case for this. He'd uh, given us the STLs. I did this myself, really pleased with the case and the way that came out. Obviously, there's a couple of things I needed to do on it, which I've never got around to it. But when I just left this on the side, this really reminded me of some of the original Game Boys. And one of the coolest features that you could get on a Game Boy was to have a see-through case. The other day I was watching a video where someone else had used JLC PCB to do see-through cases and they came out great. So I'm going to have a go at doing that in this video. So let's go to the website and order one together. So I've just uploaded the board here and all I normally do is just upload the board and change it to purple. But look at the deal you can get on these at the moment. This is not sponsored in any way, but look, get five of these Ben Heck game badge boards for less than a fiver. If you do the uh, cheap shipping to the UK, that's, well, less than £3 for five boards. Brilliant. But we're not doing that at the moment. Let's go to the 3D CNC bit. So add 3D files. Um, I think before I do add, before I add the files, let's change the resin. So the clear resin is this 801 resin. And you can get transparent or translucent. I want to go for transparent. It says about oil filling and 120 hours, but I suppose that's just how long it takes. Probably they do it on really massive printers, um, which do hundreds and hundreds of parts on the same plate, which is why it takes so long to go. So that's set, I think, to what I want. And all of these, let's just set the product description here. You have to do this for some reason. So here's what it is. It's a DIY entertainment gaming enclosure. And hopefully it will remember that when I upload the other things. So add 3D files back on the case in there. So what do I want? So um, that's that's not it. So I want the buttons. I want a see through D pad. So let's select these together. Uh, don't care about the post. That's probably too small to print. Front case rear buttons rear case sd door i'm not sure whether the select and the start switches will be too small but let's just try yeah that's all of it and it's i think it's working them out by weight really so yeah oh it's all come through with the wrong resin all right so we'll have to go in and set these resin ups again so let's do that for each part all uh, right so this one see this one doesn't work because it says it's too small. So um, I think I can delete that somehow. Yeah, delete it down there. I'll just have to do that normal resin uh, delete. OK, this one's all right. So that's 801. That's for the back. Trans oh, that one's come through as 801. And that's come through set up right. This one hasn't. So it's obviously the first one I uploaded came through with that bit of a pain. At the moment, it looks quite expensive, but um, we'll change the shipping estimate. Let's go to the cart. Hopefully everything should be there now. There are all my parts that I want and my PCBs on there as well. A special offer for the PCP, very special offer as I showed you. But I've got these, so I'm just going to delete that. But just to show you that you can order these all together if you want. So let's delete that and go back to 3D printing. So here are all my bits here. See, the individual parts aren't that bad. The front case is £3. The back case, which is a bit heavier, is £4.73. So not bad, really. So we go to the checkout. OK, so here's the shipping at the moment. You see, that's about £40, which is a lot for a case altogether. But if I change that to global standard, it's come back down. Look, the shipping, £1.28, it's come right down there. So that's really cool. And uh, I'm going to continue. That's been submitted. We'll see whether that works. Now it is. Just check. So it's March the 29th when I'm recording this. Next time you see me, hopefully there'll be a box and I'll tell you the date. But before I do, quick update. The next day after I put the order in, I got this email from them. The D-pad here, they were concerned about the thickness of this. They said, could I increase it and send it back? But obviously, because I had got these STLs from Ben Heck, I don't have the source for them. So I couldn't I couldn't send them a new file. So I asked them to cancel the printout of that particular part just in case. But the production is now finished. So you see, after I replied to them, 
they actually started to print that on the 2nd and it went out to the courier on the 7th. It's now the 9th and they've just received the package. So I've now just got to wait for an aeroplane. Okay, so the box has arrived. It is the 15th of April when I'm recording this and it went into production on about the 1st. Put the order on the 29th, I think. But uh, basically 15 days it's taken to get here to the UK from China, which included the production, so that's pretty good. Right, so let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, that's nice, okay. Those buttons, well, in fact, you can barely see the buttons. There you go, they're totally see-through. I'm really hoping there's two in here, otherwise it's going to have been a wasted time. Yeah, there are. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that is... I mean, how can you see this? That's... <laughs> oh, oh, stop. What? Stop waffling, spider math. These are beautiful. So hopefully they're the same size. They are. That's lovely. And I mean, well, they look like ice. They're very see-through and the, the, the shine on them is lovely. Um, I can't see any... Oh, actually, there are a few artifacts I can see on the bottom there. Looks like the support artifacts. I'm going to feel them rather than see them. A couple of dots. I'm lost for words here. These are beautiful. There you go. Look at that. Look at the surface on that. Oh. And then the uh, front case. Now remember, I didn't get all the buttons because um, some of them were too small. So. So that's the SD case now. I'm a little bit worried about this, whether this will clip into there. It should do. But I really don't want to break this. And in fact, that actually feels a little bit too big. Might be wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> that was the buttons falling off. It wasn't breaking. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, it goes in perfectly. And then the, the actual play buttons are here. I don't know what I'm going to keep in those poly bags. Ah, look, that one's come off there, but it's still good. We can work with that. This is really looking great. So here we go. Let's uh, take this apart. Well, the quickest thing to do is just to check everything fits on there, which it does. I think I might do a dab of hot glue on that to hold that on. But I want to see whether this goes together without it clicking. So it seems all right. Well, the reset button definitely works. The other one doesn't seem to want to click. But a bit of footling will sort that. Let's take the top case off. And I've somehow got to get the button on there. With... So there's the start and stop buttons. These buttons are slightly detached. And then I need to put... The direction pad on as well. I think it's probably going to be nice having some of these opaque anyway, but I probably will end up getting them all done somehow if I can work out the best way of doing that. Right. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to stick that speaker down, but they're like little magnifying glasses, those are. They're lovely. And those still work and the D-pad still works. So let's uh, think that button is still engaging. So I am going to have to sand that down. So I probably could polish that back up again. I think that was all I needed. So this resin takes the machine screws in as well, which is pretty good. And <laughs> hey, there you go. All right, wow, look at that. Turn it on. 
look at that how beautiful that is so this is a 3d printed case from jlc pcb and you see it's really enhanced this project but also lets you see the beauty of what's inside especially the pi pico again i'm going to say it. thanks ben heck thank you for jlc pcb for um doing this resin at a very reasonable price as well not sponsored hint hint guys so once you're happy with the case and happy with an stl it's probably worth putting the extra money out if you want a really lovely looking enclosure for your projects like that bye That actually feels a little bit too big.